Jeff, Hi, how Jeff. are you? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. Cassandra I'm good. from Silver Tiger Media, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good luck to talk to, to you be, again. <laughs> I'm very happy to be on your show. Thank you so much. Look, we've we've chatted quite a few times now over the last um, few years, so I sort of really had to put my thinking cap on to come up with some new things to talk about. But obviously, between last time when we spoke, we've had a pandemic. Um, the last show I saw was your show in Melbourne, and then the world, as we know it, shut down. How how have you been coping? Well, it seems like everything's kind of almost back to normal now, you know, everywhere I've been, uh, which is primarily the United States and and Europe, you know, all pretty back to normal, I guess you would say. Uh, I did have to wear a mask on the airplane coming to South America. It's mandatory. I'm, wow. I'm in Rio, Rio de Janeiro right now, getting ready to start a tour uh, in a few days. Uh, I had a had some uh, days off, actually. But, yeah, it was a rough couple of uh, years there, wasn't it? A lot of touch and go and crazy times. And uh, I'm, I have to say I'm very happy it seems to be uh, subsided and is over, so to speak, you know. Oh, look, we're also happy to, to have live music back. And did you take advantage of the downtime? Did you do any writing or anything like that? I did. Uh, I, I did some writing and uh, did some projects that I've been kind of putting off, you know, all these years, like cleaning out my garage. <laughs> <laughs> We've all got those. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I, I had 10 years I've been just collecting stuff and shoving it in there, going to deal with that at some point. And all of a sudden I had time, you know, so I cleared that out. and It felt so good. It was kind of uncluttered my life in a sense, you know, I felt good about it. I think everybody did that over the the lockdown. Let's clean a room out, or let's let's do all these jobs that we haven't done. So, um, yeah, I'm certainly glad it's over. But it was great to yeah to knock a few jobs off the list, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I I found out something very profound though during the pandemic. Um, I discovered that I was some sort of functional alcoholic. I guess you know. <laughs> 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 apparently i you know i had this uh i've been collecting wine you know as i travel around the world and during the pandemic i drank my cellar dry you know so <laughs> i'm on a mission not now probably the best tour. way to go <laughs> <laughs> now um you've recently had another trip around the sun so happy birthday for the other day thank you um thank you now You'd not know it, though. Your stamina and your energy, it's just incredible. Are you finding, you know, how are you finding doing this now? You know, we're not getting any younger. <laughs> yeah, well, I have to take vitamins. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that's an important thing. <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, I love what I do. I really do. I love touring. I love playing shows. I love bringing the music to the people, and I love... Uh, uh, visiting different places you know this year I'm going to um, a couple new countries that I haven't been to before I'm very excited about that I'm going to Peru oh right Costa Rica okay. yeah coming up uh, in, a, in about a week and a half and uh, going to uh, Ibiza and Sardinia which I've never been to before and you obviously um, got fans there if you're going there yeah I'm yeah. looking forward to it I I it's so exciting to go to a new place and to see it for the first time and and meet people that uh, perhaps have, have been following me all these years. And, um, you know, uh, they invite you to dinner, they invite you out for a drink, things like that. So it's, it's, uh, it's good fun. What a, now, I saw on social media, and as you said, you're in Rio at the moment. Um, I had a little sneaky look at some of your set lists and you're doing a bit of a, a mix, but over here in Australia, we're going to get uh, Rage for Order and Empire back to back. That's still the case. Yes. We're still, yep. Yeah, that we were actually, uh, I think, contractually bound to perform those albums. Uh, we started in 2020 and of course the pandemic hit, so everything got postponed and put back. So, uh, we're finally getting to come to Australia and finally getting to perform Race for Order and Empire in their entirety and looking so forward to it. Oh, you're not the only one that's looking forward to it. <laughs> um, 
when you're picking your albums to perform, obviously there's a, a, a massive back catalogue. How do you make the decision by this time you've picked Empire and, and Rage? How do you make that decision on what you're going to go with? Well, the Empire was sort of a, it was a 30-year anniversary, really, so yeah. too difficult to make a decision there. And uh, performing Rage for Order was a decision I made simply because I wanted to play it. <laughs> I really <laughs> love, I love that album, and I never got a chance to play the album before, you know, because um, typically when when you release a new album, typically in the past, what Greensrike would do is we would pick maybe one or two songs off the new album. We'd add them to our existing set list. And and then a year or two later, the new album would come out. You'd pick one or two songs from that, and then you'd add them to the list. So all those songs that are on the out previous to play, you know? And uh, I love the music on Rage for Order. I wanted to, uh, to play the whole thing, you know? So I'm, I'm very happy that, people indulge me with that <laughs> well look <laughs> i'm very happy to <laughs> yeah it's, it's one of my favorite albums so i'm very excited you know i've seen you every time you've been here and i've seen little snippets but to see the whole thing in its entirety is just really exciting for me so um favorite for you to play off rage for order uh it's become one of my favorite albums to perform it's very very um uh intense you know, uh, yeah. all the songs are very, very intense to perform. And then by contrast, Empire is uh, not so intense. It has intense moments, but it's, it's uh, I don't know, a, a bit more loose, I guess I'd say, in a, yeah. in a sense. A couple of subjects, too, where, where uh, uh, Rage is more focused on how ultimately miserable I was <laughs> during that <laughs> period of time. <laughs> um, looking at Rage for Order, Surgical Strike is massive standout for me. Screaming in Digital, another one. Um, what do you love the best? What's your favourite song to sing off it? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, I love Screaming in Digital. That's very fun to perform. Um, and I think we... We really do an uh, incredible uh, version of it that's, uh, that really does the, the recording justice. Uh, called um, I Dream in Infrared. Yeah. Which I absolutely adore singing. It's, it's the hardest one for me to sing. And maybe that's why I love it so much is because it's been such a challenge to, to make it so smooth sounding, you know. But uh, yeah, I, I love them all. I <laughs> And you know what's funny is uh, when we when we got together to do rehearsals for the album, I didn't even have to look up the lyrics to anything. I just knew just all them. there, yeah. That's all all buried in there somewhere, and somehow I was able to uh, access all those lyrics. You know, without were having to look at, at what was written, and and I don't even know how that works still to this day, but it. It's interesting. <laughs> there must be a lot of stuff going on inside your head, a lot of songs. <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> now, are you bringing the same lineup back this time with the band? We had Kieran, um, Jack, James. Are they all with you at the moment? Yes, they are. Uh, but this time we have a new drummer. Uh, okay. Danny Laverde will join us on, on drums. He's uh, a young drummer from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. And uh, he's amazing. He's uh, it, he's on in the four years that he's been playing with me now he's made one mistake on the drums and it was simply a mistake that was he left out a, a beat because he had a, a pedal problem and he reached down to fix his pedal ah. and missed the beat right so it wasn't like so much as he just left something out he's just incredibly accurate I love that about him. I don't even have to think about where I'm at in the song because he knows and I depend on him. You know. Yeah. I've seen this wonderful um, structure in some of the live shots where Kieran's jumping up on people's knees and how did that come about? <laughs> <laughs> the pyramid. Yeah, the, the power, pyramid. <laughs> the, the power of the pyramid. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's become a band theme. We all got tattoos. Um, he, uh, Karen always wanted to do that, you know. Uh, 
he uh, somehow bribed everybody in the band to uh, indulge him. <laughs> well, it's very exciting to watch. I hope we get a run um, at the Melbourne show. I'll certainly be waiting to see it. <laughs> yes, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, we've seen you pop up again recently on Aventasia um, with a paranormal evening with the Moonflower Society on Scars. Um, must be a bit of fun working with Tobias. Oh, it's a laugh a minute. Yes. He's a very funny man. Um, great sense of humor. And uh, he could tell a good story. It, it was... Uh, it was one of the more, it's one of the, the projects I did over the pandemic was uh, record with him. And uh, even though we, we weren't in the same studio, we were in the same country. At least I was in parts of Germany and he was in Germany. And uh, we recorded uh, that uh, a couple songs for the album. But I think Scars is the one that uh, he chose as a first uh, release. Yeah, it's good song. It's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's a oh, amazing song. It's it's just incredible to think that you can do this and not even be in the same room together and just putting it all, you know, together as it is. It's just amazing. It is. And uh, that's the beauty of living in this day and age where we have such access to uh, getting our ideas out so easily, you know, where before years past you, oh, it was such a pain to get this idea that was in your head and you wanted to get it out quick and you just couldn't do it quick at all. But now you can have a, a great sounding piece of music in, I don't know, a few hours, you know, it's easy. Um, are you actively writing any new material at the moment? I'm beginning to work on the third uh, Sweet Oblivion album. I don't know if you're familiar with oh, that. Oh, awesome. It's, a, it's kind of a side project. Very project familiar. To, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, we have the third one. Uh, we've just begun working on it now, and I hope to have that out this year. Oh, touring, oh touring, wonderful. Touring. Yep. Yeah, it's hard. Um, now, speaking of touring, after Australia, are you still going on or are you having a bit of a break? No, we're going um, Australia to Europe, and we begin uh, some European dates, and then we right, Australia to Scandinavia, doing the Nordic dates and then we drop into Europe and then we go back to the United States, I guess, for the summer or spring, spring. Yeah. Late spring. Busy, busy <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, um, it's pretty much. Last time busy. we spoke, <laughs> last time we spoke, I just touched briefly on backstage travel pass. Um, mm -hmm. Where's that at the moment? Have you got any, um, any tours coming up with that? Yes, um, that is an ever-evolving uh, project that is so fun. Um, we have uh, Scotland coming up. We have uh, a couple of trips in Ireland coming up. We have Germany in the fall. Uh, we have uh, Italy, Tuscany coming up, uh, I think, in May. Yeah, so quite a few. Right, well, it's it's always been on my bucket list and now you're ticking off all these places that I want to go to, so I think I really have to um, talk to my husband and say, we need to do this. <laughs> oh, oh, you should. It's it's really super fun and uh, a lot of times when people do one trip, they come back for a couple more because they have such a great time. And and we honestly, I have a great time as well. Um, it, even though it's like a week-long meet and greet with people, uh I find that uh, so many times we all share so many of the same uh, uh, values and ideas and comedy. Uh, there's people that, that come on the tour that are just hilarious to be around. And a lot of people, they they feel comfortable traveling with us because we pick them up at the airport and they never have, even have to think about where they're going because everything is planned out for them yeah. and, and, they, and they just go, you know. And uh, especially if, if people hadn't traveled a lot, it uh, uh, takes the worry out of it for them, you know. 
<laughs> Look, it just sounds perfect for me because I'm I've not been a very seasoned traveller, and and it is a bit um scary thinking going to another country and not knowing where you're going and what you're doing. So um, yeah, I, exactly. I certainly think it's for me, and I think I really need to to do this pronto. <laughs> well, you could pick fly fishing or horseback riding in Montana, where you get to finish the uh, hike in the mountains in a cold mountain lake. <laughs> Goodness me, you must have missed that over COVID as well, because obviously that shut down too. Yeah, well, everything pretty much shut down for periods of time, didn't it? It was crazy. You know, my yeah. wife and I took a flight to Ireland during COVID, and uh, we had one of those like transatlantic flights, you know, with the big 747 airplane, and there were more flight attendants on the flight than there were passengers. You know, it oh, was goodness. so empty. It was so strange. Uh, I'd never, ever witnessed anything like that before. God, unbelievable. Well, we're just so happy that everything's up and running um, again now. We cannot wait to see you back in Australia. Um, thank you so much for chatting with me today, Jeff. And I will be there in Melbourne front row. So you look out for me and I'll give you a little wave. All right. Deal. It's a deal. <laughs> Thanks for having me on your <laughs> thank show. Thank you so much. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Thanks, Jeff.